Developments on the wound socket mill fire. The city spent about $45,000 in overtime paying the firefighters and police who helped keep the public safe from the flames. Now the mayor is looking to the mill's owner's insurance company for help paying that bill. Eyewitness News reporter Nika Nuosu has the details from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Just last week, when Socket Mayor Leo Fontaine said the city is facing possible bankruptcy and that historic mill fire didn't help. One week after the historic Alice Mills fire, Woonsocket Mayor Leo Fontaine says the cash-strapped city is in even worse shape than before, spending close to $46,000 just on firefighter and police overtime. Now the mayor is asking the mill's owner to help foot the bill. We've been in conversation with the owners of the property as far as potentially reaching out to their insurance company. It's, it's very preliminary at this point, so we've, but we've got to explore all avenues. And uh, I do have to say, though, that the owner has been very cooperative. The mill is currently owned by American Wood Pellet Company. The company and the city work together to tear down the building, clean up the property, and hopefully start over again. Fire crews have, have been off-site for quite some time now, so the owner has been uh, working pretty hard out there. So we, we give him a lot of credit, and uh, so all things considered, going pretty well. And I just spoke with the president of the American Wood Pellet Company by phone. He says that he's pretty certain that their insurance company will not help cover the city's expenditures. He also says that as of right now, the mayor of Woonsocket has not asked his company to pay anything. With the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Nika Nwosu, Eyewitness News. Also